what do you think if that really fits in where a lot of duplexes are at about 45 percent devin what do i have as a monthly cash flow after you take what is it 2600 in gross rents lila yes multiply that by 0.55 0.55 and uh, that's $1,430. So I have $1,430. Multiply that by 12 months. That is the amount of money I'll have after I pay my expenses every month. Okay. Now, granted, mm -hmm. some of the like, no, we make way more than that. Yeah. But then in February, you pay your property taxes and you lose money. Same thing in July. And what about in January when you're paying a year's worth of insurance? You've got to factor these things all the way across a 12-month period and not say, I have really good months and really bad. No, I want to know what is the average of every month for the last five years. That wow. is an accurate number. So how much is my operating uh, – how much is my net operating income? About $17,160. So to buy this at a 10 cap, I could multiply that by 10 or divide by 0.1. Mm -hmm. And that would give me about 170,000. The bidding started at 200,000. <laughs> and he said it should sell for 400. When we left, where were they? We figured out they were going to be about $370,000. Yes. Divide that number by 370,000. Are you going to come up with about 0 0.05? It should be somewhere around there. What'd you get, Devin? Uh, 0 0.046, but that rounds to 0 0.05. So it is a 4.6 cap rate. Ethan, if you can borrow money at 8.5% on a commercial loan, and you can buy a property at 4.5%, how much money are you making? Negative 4%. You can't make that up on volume. <laughs> no. <laughs> and we're going to discuss how if you lose a dollar, it doesn't matter if you do it a million times. You can't get rich. You just get poor right after this break. <laughs>